at home rallies are set for Detroit and Ann Arbor. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is joining us live with more on this. So Matthew, what's behind this movement? Well, Isha Keenan, really, it's a youth movement. Sure, everyone is invited to strike and attend these events that are going to be happening throughout Metro Detroit. But the reality is it is the youngest people in our country that are driving this, saying that it's time to act. <laughs> Young and old marching together. From the sky, it looks insignificant. But on the ground, you see the numbers behind this. I don't want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to the scientists. This week, a teenager imploring congressional leaders to make a change, but that isn't always easy. This is the fight of a lifetime for us. We have to win this, and I believe we will. That's the California Air Resource Board Chair. Because on the day of the global climate strike is set to happen, there's an ongoing fight. The president making clear he wants to roll back rules that allow California to set emissions rules to cars after decades of smog problems. But this isn't some far off problem either. We've seen flooding, increased intensity of rainstorms. Heck, Lake Superior is now one of the fastest warming lakes worldwide. It's according to scientists. And in Detroit, there's the never-ending fight between a neighborhood, its residents, and the companies pumping chemicals into the air. I think the message should be that there's something they can do. They don't have to sit by and watch climate change happen. They don't have to watch other people do it. Kristen Hayden is one of nearly 20 organizers for today's event in Ann Arbor. They're expecting more than 3,000 people, potentially more than five. Online, the messages are spreading already. A strike at noon, events starting in Ann Arbor's Ingalls Mall at 11 this morning. I think the message is one of hope and action and uh, looking forward to changing these systems. So Matthew, obviously more and more people very concerned about climate change. For those who want to get involved, how do they get involved? Well, Alicia, I think first thing is just everybody needs to take a breath. This is scary stuff, but we don't want to focus on the doom and gloom. We want to talk about the solutions because they are out there, right? And that's what this strike is about. There are going to be events, people speaking that you can hear both in Ann Arbor starting at 11, Detroit at 3, and of course online right now at WXYZ.com. We're helping people get connected, know where those events are taking place, and also where you can get more information on how you can be a part of the solution that these young people are truly talking about right now. Thank you very much for that live update, Matthew.